Hello and welcome to part 3 of this video tutorial series on the new Blocks framework in Reactor 6. I'm Salamander Anagram and in this video I'll be expanding a little bit on the synth that we built in the previous video. For more Reactor content, please check out our webpage at adsrcourses.com. We've got tons of free Reactor stuff and much, much more. Alright, so if you're anything like me, you probably want access to more modulators too. It's fun, but it's just not quite enough. So fortunately, there's a way that we can get more modulators out of our system. And um, in this example, I'm just going to go up to a total of four, but we could easily go higher than that just by being a little bit creative. So to keep things simple, I'm just going to take our existing modulator modules here and duplicate them. That's control D. And I'll rename them one through four. And what I'm going to do is use a new module type called a CV mixer, which you can find in the utility folder at the bottom here. And this is going to mix together our four signals that we have. And we can use the output from the CV mixer as a modulation source. All right, so now we can just duplicate our CV mixer to create a second modulation source. And we'll have two modulation sources that each can be made up of a combination of our four other modules. So this is extremely flexible. And we could even go further than this and have our second uh, CV mixer could have its own set of LFOs and envelopes. And then we'd have a total of eight modulation sources to work with, but let's not go too overboard. And next up, we need to make sure to wire our new modulation sources to all of the mod A and mod B inputs that apply. So that's going to be pretty much everything besides our amplitude envelope or actually the uh, voltage controlled amplifier that's being controlled by the envelope. So to my mind, this setup really shows the strength of the blocks framework. Um, so we just decided we wanted to add some functionality and it really is as simple as dragging in some new modules and dropping them in place and wiring them up. It's pretty fantastic how simple everything's been made for us really. So I just want to take a moment to rearrange our panel view here so everything lines up properly. We've got our uh, modulators 1 through 4 and our two CV mixers marked mod A and mod B. Now so far everything is still pretty simple and generic with this project. I want to add something a little more experimental to it. And one of the really cool things that we can do with the Blocks framework is use it to create generative music. So in order to do this, I'm going to use a module from the uh, Digilog folder here called the Quantizer. The quantizer can be used to accept an audio signal and translate it into a signal that can be used to control the pitch of our oscillators and other modules. And as you can see on the panel here, we can even control which pitches are active. So here's a C major scale. Now you can create some pretty complex setups with this, but for now I'm just going to use a couple of LFOs to supply our input and our gate value. So we'll have one LFO controlling the input and another one controlling the gate. And whenever the one controlling the gate goes larger than zero, um, the one at our input 
will be sampled and translated into a pitch value. And if we set up the everything correctly, then it should have an effect that's sort of just like playing random notes in the scale that we've chosen. So let's hook up the pitch and gate outputs to everything that's currently being supplied a pitch and gate value from our note in module. And things are going to sound a bit cacophonous until we uh, dial some knobs in properly. So I'm just going to turn the volume all the way down. And continue replacing our gate values here. And at this point in time, we've kind of replaced our note in module. It's still being used to supply um, some MIDI to our modulators, but you might want to rethink that. I'm not going to bother with it right now, but if you wanted to expand upon this project, you might want to give those some different modulators. All right, so let's get all these on the same row. You can even tell which one is which. All right, so in a moment, I'll leave you with a short sample of our newly modified synth playing some generative music. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram. For more of my work, check out reactortutorials.com. Got tons of free written and video tutorials up. Thanks for watching.